Hey guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a two and a half year old toddler named Kylie and I also have a 10 month old baby named Mia. Now I did exclusively breastfeed my toddler and I am still breastfeeding my baby right now. And with my toddler, I had a very challenging experience with breastfeeding. I was successful in the end, but it was still challenging. So when I had my second baby, Mia, earlier this year, I went into it knowing that I wanted to do something a little bit differently. And if you've seen any of my other videos in the past when I was still pregnant about breastfeeding, you know that I have been singing the praises of a silicone breast pump. A silicone breast pump is quite literally the only breastfeeding tool that I have used the entire last 10 months with my baby, which is why I am super stoked that today's video is sponsored by Hakka because I just love this thing and I'm really excited to share the love with you guys. So first off, if you've never seen a silicone breast pump before, this is what it looks like. You can see that it's very squishy and it is very soft to the touch, so it forms a very comfortable fit. There's no rub or chafing or anything like that. The Hakka does have a little silicone suction base on it so you can stick it to any surface and it won't go anywhere, which is really convenient when you're breastfeeding and you have to quickly set it down on your nightstand table or wherever you're sitting and not worry that you're gonna lose all of that precious milk you just pumped out. So the way that a Hakka breast pump works to actually extract milk, it uses suction. And I'm gonna demonstrate with my handy dandy balloon boob. So all you need to do to attach a Hakka to your breast while you're breastfeeding is to actually squeeze the pump itself at the base and then you're going to attach attach it right over where the nipple is and then let go. And as you can see, it does kind of suction the nipple and the areola out into the breast pump and that's when the actual suction process begins. But I will let you in on a little secret. There is another way that you can attach it to the breast that provides even more suction and really make sure that it's not going to go anywhere once you've got it attached. And for that, all you need to do is squeeze the pump just like we did before, flip the little flange back and kind of hold it in place and then you put it over the nipple like you did before and let it flip back over so that it's positioned like it should be and then let go. And as you can see, the nipple comes just a little bit further out. There's a little bit more suction created. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. So what I love using my Hakka for is when I'm nursing Mia, if I attach the Hakka to the other side that she's not nursing on, as soon as my letdown is triggered, it literally just sucks all of the milk out that's in there in literally less than 10 minutes flat. It's pretty incredible. And it's actually oddly satisfying to watch how fast it comes out. Now back in the beginning when Mia was first born and I was super engorged. I was constantly using my Hakka. This one holds four ounces and I would literally fill this thing up before she was even done breastfeeding. So there is a four ounce version of the Hakka pump and there is also a five ounce version, which you can see is just slightly bigger for that extra ounce. When you are done extracting the milk, it does come with a little cap that you can just pop right on there and you can make sure that nothing is going to seep out of it if you do have to set it down somewhere while you're finishing up breastfeeding. And it looks like Mia is just about to wake up from her nap. She's starting to roll around a little bit and watching the baby monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab her and bring her back in here. And we're gonna do a quick little demo test run for you guys so you can see for yourself how easy this thing is to use. So this is Mia. And as you can tell by her little mark on her head, she just woke up. She's always hungry when she wakes up. So let's go ahead and test it out. So as evidenced by Mia's little fuzzy head down here, <laughs> she is nursing right now. And I've got the Hakka hooked up to this side. And she's probably only gonna nurse for like five to 10 minutes because she is very efficient at feeding now at almost 10 months old. But I'm gonna let her go for 10 minutes and then we're gonna see how much milk came out. Are you all done? All right, so it's sitting right now at just over the three ounce line because there's like a little measuring thing on the side of it. And I would say for me, that's pretty standard now that I'm like not engorged anymore. So then you just take it and put the cap on and you can either toss it straight into the fridge like that or you can go put it into a milk bag, whatever you wanna do, but you're good to go. I love this thing so much and I would highly recommend this to any new breastfeeding mom out there. I know as a second time breastfeeding mom, I was nervous about getting mastitis again and getting plugged ducts and all of those little issues that you run into when you are breastfeeding because all of them happened to me with my first baby. And I 100% believe that this product is one of the primary reasons that I didn't run into any of those problems because every single time I nursed my baby, I hooked this thing up to the other side, it extracted 
extracted out all the milk so I didn't have any excess sitting in there to allow some of those problems to crop up. And because I was doing that, here's the best bonus, I built up a huge stash of milk for my baby to have. And all of that milk was collected with my Haka pump. I did not even break out my electric breast pump at all during my breastfeeding journey this far in the last 10 months. So if you are a new breastfeeding mom or you are about to be a breastfeeding mom, a Haka is the way to go. I do have a link down in the description box for you guys with a discount code to use. So if you are interested in getting a Haka, you can get it for half off of its normal retail value. I do have some other videos on pregnancy and breastfeeding. So if you're interested in watching some of those, then I will leave links in the description box down below for you guys. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.